Housing construction has been one of the key industries in China over the past decade. It started even earlier in the southern province of Hainan. The real estate boom there dates back to the early 1990s. Now, after some ups and downs in the past two decades, it's on the rise again. Liu Ming has the story. The price of real estate in Hainan has been skyrocketing over the past three years. This wave of housing fever comes 14 years after its last boom. Yao Huifen is general manager of a real estate company in Hainan. She has been in the housing industry for more than 20 years. She experienced the very first prosperity of Hainan's housing market as early as 1992. Our company was developing very fast in the early 1990s. We experienced the golden time of real estate in Hainan. Everyone was crazy about buying and selling houses. Some of them were investors, while others were speculators. We sold our apartments at a little more than 3,000 yuan per square meter, but it rose about 10,000 yuan within a very short time through constant changing of hands from one buyer to another. A real estate analyst explains why that happened. Guanlei has seen the thick and thin of the Hainan housing market over the past two decades. Having a natural love for houses, she has written many thought-provoking articles analyzing the Hainan property market. Demand was originally the driving force. The southern parts were on the front line of China's economic development. Hainan was no exception. A large number of people flooded here to invest and do business. But Hainan was very underdeveloped at that time in terms of offices and residences. So all of a sudden, the housing market erupted. We saw buildings under construction wherever we went. The whole Hainan was a construction site. However, the good days didn't last long. The housing fever lasted very short until the second half of 1993. Things were getting worse and worse. We had the worst time in 1995 when many investors withdrew their fund. Many buildings had to be stopped halfway. You could see lots of semi-finished constructions across Hainan. They began to be reactivated from 1998 until a few years ago. There were over 20,000 real estate development companies in peak time. The development of housing projects was so fast that it far exceeded actual demand. Bubbles were created. The central government started imposing a macro adjustment and control. Banks tightened loans. The fund chain of many developers were broken, and they even withdrew their own capital. Recession came along. The housing sector in Hainan is making a comeback now. Prices have been increasing in recent years. Unlike in 1992, Hainan's property is rising because the selling points now. Are its beautiful beaches, fresh air, sunshine, low population, and unique marine resources. After going through many ups and downs over the past two decades, the property market in Hainan is on the fast track again as people from across China and the world have come to buy property on the island. Like Hainan, the housing market in many other Chinese cities is also becoming increasingly hot. The real estate sector has become a major contributor to China's GDP, but housing bubbles are created as prices rise too fast, and in the end, all bubbles burst. Liu Ming, CCTV, Haikou. More than 10,000 kilometers, eight cities across five provinces, dozens of interviews. That's what my cameraman and I went through during the past month. We saw changes and reforms, along with challenges and conflicts occurring right in front of us. Chinese people are endeavoring for a better life, while China is striving to be richer and stronger. 60 years is far from an end, but a brand new start, at which both China and its people will move on with hope and vitality.